Hey Captains, Ipsock here. Several people on Reddit had asked for a tutorial regarding how to do good looking ships and aesthetically pleasing ships and properly sized and scaled ships. Um, I will be the first to tell you that doing aesthetic stuff is almost impossible for me. I basically have to cheat to win and copy other people's stuff or look at other people's designs to try to muddle my way through aesthetically pleasing designs. But I think I can help you with scale and dimension. So one of the things that I found quite a while back that is super helpful is to use an image tool that does uh, ratio, you know, will measure ratios and scale on an image. Um, there are a number of them out there. Um, image J will do it. Um, it it's not the most ideal. Um, Photoshop will do it if you happen to open Photoshop. Um, and then there are a couple of good websites that will help you do it as well. And what's on my screen now is one of those. Um, this, I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. You can see it up there in the URL bar, and I'll try to remember to put a link in the in the description of the video. Um, there's also uh, Block Layer and a couple others that will allow you to take a reference image and set a known dimension and then it will give you any other dimension you want from that. So uh, it's a really complicated way of saying this is what it does. Let me show you. So one nice thing when you're going to build that new battleship that you want to sort out is that, you know, if you're like me, I have no aesthetic talent and I have no eye for ship design, but I don't have to because luckily people have been building ships for years in the real world. Talented ship designers have spent thousands of hours designing beautiful ships. So find one you like. What I'm going to use here is this nice little Dunkirk battleship right here. Don't at me about my choice of battleships. I picked this one because the image was nice and clear, or fairly so, and because it had dimensions. So the nice thing about a lot of these ship designs, especially from World War II, is that they give you dimensions or approximate dimensions. So what tools like this image scaler does is it allows us to take and set something in the image that is a known width. In this case, the people that gave us this nice image were nice enough to tell us that this ship is basically 706 feet long. So we don't really care that it's 706 feet, but we know it's 706. So I'm going to put a known dimension in here. 706 is my known dimension on this thing. And I'm going to come across here, and I'm going to put this line down and say, this is 706. Okay, so now I know my known length is 706. Now, in theory, that tells me the beam should be about 102. Now, it's not perfect. These images aren't, you know, entirely perfect, and you aren't going to click on exactly the right pixel. But when I put this on here, I can drag this down, 103. This is close enough for government work here, folks and close enough for FTD physics and design. So when you're trying to get those, you know, your ships to look right, go look at the real world examples and sort it out from there. So now I can hit delete here. I'm sorry, I should be able to hit delete. Nope, Never mind. I'm gonna come down here and hit delete and get rid of that last one. So now I've got my known dimension on this ship. So now I can get the scale for anything else if I'm building a ship to this scale. Do you wanna know what that turret base is? Well, let's find out. That turret base is roughly, you know, 39 feet across. The unit, feet, meters, doesn't matter. It's just the scale you need. You know that if you build something 706 blocks long, then this turret base, if you're going to make something that looks like this ship, should be 39 blocks wide. So maybe, you know, for me, what I do is I generally pick a length I want. I don't want to build a 706 block long battleship. I'm you know, I'm not Carbango. I'm not building the Megalodon here. So let's uh, let's scale this down to something maybe a little more reasonable. Let's say I want my ship to be roughly 250 feet long. I can hit escape on this and I can clear it. Or 250 blocks long. I'm going to make a 250 block long battleship. Come in here. Set my width. This is 250. Now how wide is that turret base? That turret base on a 250 scale is, call it, 15, 15 blocks wide. 15 meters, blocks, that again, doesn't matter. So there you go. You can now find anything you want. Now I know that this ship is, if it's 250 long and I want it to look roughly like this in dimension, I should make it about 37 wide and 250 long with 15 meter, meter turret bases. Barrels, how long is that barrel? That barrel is 
12 meters long. The riser on that turret base, five to six blocks high. That's how I can make this look. You know, how high is the damn mast in the conning tower? And it's 25 blocks high. Smokestack, 13 blocks high. So you can use this to take a known ship, and that's how you can scale it so that your ship looks roughly like this. Now, there you go. I've used this tool all the time. I've used it for jets, I've used it for ships, I've used it for modern ships, World War II ships, you name it. It doesn't matter. You can put a freaking Star Destroyer in here and set your scale, and then you can have all the rest of your measurements. Oh, how wide should this turret be? Oh, it's a three meter. Oh, sorry, I screwed that one up. That's probably a, you know, ah, sorry. That is a five meter turret. So with a tool like this, and like I said, this is this is one. Um, uh, there's one called Block Layer out there. That's also a website. And like I said, Image J will do it, but it only gives you it. You can set the measurement. Um, it's kind of a pain because every time you draw a line, it it only displays the measurement while you're still on that line. Um, uh, it looks like Photoshop will do it. I don't own Photoshop. Um, but this one works great, um, as does Block Layer, and they're web-based, and you load up whatever, you know, whatever design you want. And like I said, the beauty of it is, is that there are a ton of these ship references already out there, and they already have dimensions, or you can Google the dimensions if they're not on the picture, and you can get your scales appropriate. Once you set one known dimension, say the length or the beam or whatever, then you can get anything else to scale and make it look appropriately sized on your ships. So that's what I do. It helps a ton. Hopefully you guys can use it too. All right. Have a good night, folks. Party on.